Hey, Dad. Yeah. You're not concentrating on the show. Oh, sorry. You're looking yeah, I'm at the wall. Are you all right? Dad? Dad? Yes. Are you, sorry. You're staring at the wall. Oh, uh, he, here's what I'm thinking, Ben. This Saturday, what do you say you and I, we take out the old tool chest and we... um. Uh -huh. Put on some some beat up old clothes and we and yeah. and we uh, put up some sh some shelving some some nice new shelving on that wall. What do you what do you think about that idea? That's a bad idea, Dad. I'm sort of watching a show here. Well, I mean, we're, we're just suggesting that we do this Saturday. And you you, know? you want to put the shelves over the TV? <laughs> no, on that wall there, there's a totally there's a whole empty wall there. We don't do those kind of things. We don't we don't put up shelves. We. We're not gifted in that what way. What are you talking about? We can't. We, what about the treehouse I built you when you were a kid? Do you, do you not remember that? No, I don't remember that. What treehouse? When you were about six. Rem, you don't remember me and, and Mom and, and Lefty and Stu? We all uh, built a treehouse? Built a treehouse. Where? In, in the backyard where we used to live. I, don't, I never had a treehouse. Well, you know, when you're that age, anything is a treehouse. You know what I'm saying? It was. We had a tree. Well, it was it was a very simple structure, Ben. That's all I'm saying. But but for a six year old kid, you were in heaven there. You. Why do you make up a treehouse when I never had it? Why do you negate the uh, wonderful childhood that we? Why we don't gave you build you? me a treehouse now? I'll build you a treehouse. Get over here, <laughs> you <laughs> kid. I'm gonna build you a treehouse. <laughs> Boom! Wow. Stop the hitting. You know, Doc, I love playing cards, mm -hmm. but, you know, all the years I've been playing cards, I, I never thought about this until recently. What's that, Daddy? What's the deal with the royalty and the deck of cards? We know who the king is, right? We know who the queen is, but who the hell is the jack? There's, there's no jack in history. You're never like, I am the jack of England. There's, yeah. there's no, you know, I will meet with all the jacks of Europe. If, well, if I was a ten, I'd be angry. Yeah. You know what I mean? You, you're worth the same points as mm -hmm. the jack, but... You don't get the nice clothing, you know. Give me, give me a sweater or a gift certificate. I'm in the royal flush. I, I might as well be the three. Uh, you know, you know what really is the biggest problem with the news is what is the they problem? made anchor people celebrities. That's dangerous. You know, these were the kids who used to get beat up in high school, and then you make them celebrities, and their egos go through the roof. You know, it's like. Mm -hmm. You ever notice uh, on the news, sometimes, uh, you know, the anchor person gets replaced by another one. Right. And they announce it like they think it matters. It's like, hi, I'm Chris Phillips with the news. Adam Roth has the night off. <sighs> Who cares? Just read the news. This is this is television. We can see you're not that guy. You know, we're not worried. Like, you know, where's the other guy? Is he under the desk? Is he? Who are you? You're a freak. I can't listen. I, I want my old guy back. I want my old guy back. Nobody cares. And, and nobody does that at, at any other job. No one's like, hey, my name's Dick Warren. I made to fill your tank with gas. You see, John Harrison has the night off tonight. His wife's pregnant. I'm just working a double shift. See, we don't really care. It's really, you know who has the easiest job on the news? The weather people, because they just point to stuff and make it up. Yeah. They, they play pin the tail on the map, and they make a million dollars. It's really going to be cold. Here. Now back to you, Bill. I've got to cash my check. Thanks. You know, it's the hardest job on the news. The weather people working their way up to be the weather anchor. Yeah. You know, the people have to go out and cover the storm. They have to interview the blizzard when it comes into town. Yeah. You know, because the rich guy, the rich girl weather anchor person, they're in a studio and they're pointing this stuff and making uh -huh. it up and weird hand motions and fake voices like, winds out of the south southeast at 100,000 miles per hour, cousin of 5 million miles or more. So stay in your homes and lock your door. But now let's take out the dink loser right on the water covering the storm. And some poor guy in a Gorton's fisherman jacket with a big yellow rain hat, you see this much of his face, he's like, Help me! I'm the ark! Hey, Laura. How Hi, are you ben. doing? Good, how are you? It's Ben. I know. What? I know. Oh, great. Hi. What's happening over there? Are things uh, smooth? Mm-hmm. 
Great. Listen, I, I actually, is my dad uh, available? Because i got to uh, speak to him about a few issues. Well, he's in the session right now. Yeah. Well, can you take a message? Yeah. Tell him that I'm on my way down to the hardware store, and uh, I'm going to pick up all the things that, uh, that I've mapped out for... Uh... Well, wait, wait, wait. Stop. Okay. Sure. Are you, uh, catching up? Oh, no, no, no. I just meant stop. Oh. Well, could... uh, I'm not going to take the message. Yeah, so I guess what I'm saying is politically I'm paranoid. Because I really believe that, you know, let's be honest about it. I mean, it doesn't matter what you are, Republican, Democrat, you know, Jewish, Catholic, Hindu, Baha'i, Christian. You trace them all back. It's all, you know, Viacom, AT&T, Time Warner. I mean, am I being crazy? I'm not being crazy. No. I mean, I know this is true. I can see it's true. You know how I know? Because yeah. I sit at home. If you just make a little hat out of Reynolds Wrap mm -hmm. and you just sit at home for 20 minutes a day and squint really hard, the answers come to you. You don't need television. It, all, it's all, the information is just floating around in the air. It's a matter how you pick it up. You know, it's a matter how you choose to do it. Okay, so you might think I'm paranoid, but okay, no. question, question. Why are you taking my name at Radio Shack? I'm buying batteries. Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm buying batteries. Yeah, so anyway, I'm going down to the hardware store, right? I'm going to pick up the, uh, the stud finder and uh, the particle board. I'm going to pick up the, uh, the shelving units. All the wood screws. The things that the wood screws go into, the little red things. Ben? And the grout. See, and, I uh, don't really need to know this. Because, you know, we're, we're, we're remodeling in the uh, apartment. Mm hmm Yeah, we're going to do some work in the, uh, in the living room. And uh, things are going to get a little sweaty, you know. Okay, stop right there. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm just going to be wearing jeans, maybe no shirt. <laughs> and, oh, uh, and there now. goes lunch. I mean, come on, think about it. Think about it. Think about it. Okay. Think about God. I think most people believe in God just in case. Mm -hmm. You know, if there's some sort of blacklist, you know, you don't want to be on it. You don't want to be one of those people that says, hey, there's no God, and then die and have to go, oh, <laughs> hi, you know. Mm. Is there some sort of community service I can do? You know? Well, you know, I read recently in, in USA Today that a lot less people believe in God and had a little color graph. So, you know, must be true. More blue equals less people. You know what I mean? Why? Mm -hmm. But what is that? What is statistics? What's that all about? You know, what, why do we believe that graph statistics? Like five out of 15 people believe less in God. Who they ask? Did they ask you? No. Did they ask me? No. Who are they calling? I don't know. We well, see what it is. You know what a pollster is. Those are those calls you get where they go, uh, hi, mind if we ask you a few questions about it? And you're like, no, I have no time for this. You hang up the phone. Yeah. Well, see what it is is that you get these guys who are sitting at home just sitting there watching Jenny Jones and the phone rings and they're just sitting there going, oh, I wish I had friends. Bring. Hey, you mind if we ask you a few questions? Yes, I want to talk to people. You see that? I'm just saying don't believe the numbers. But let's say it's true. Uh -huh. Let's say people believe less in God. I think yeah. one of the reasons is God doesn't seem to talk to people like he used to. I mean, you read the Bible, the Old Testament, the New Testament, every other day. It was like, Abraham, this is God. I need you to do something for me pronto. Can you handle it? Thanks. I knew you could. Who's he talking to now? I don't know. And then I realized maybe it's those guys you see walking down the street talking to themselves. You know, those guys who are just like, I can't. No, I can't. No, I can't. Yeah. Maybe the other side of that conversation is God going, you're the new leader. No, I can't. They're not crazy. They're reluctant prophets. So did you, did you get that, Laura? Mm-hmm. Could you read it back to me just to make sure that that's because I want to be specific? Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, Dr. Katz, Ben called. That's fine. That's okay. I don't mind that. Homelessness very, it upsets me very much. You know, but I, I really, on some level, you know, I can only do what I can. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying, doctor? Sure. That's all any of us can do. Yeah. And I, I was walking through this neighborhood. You know, most big cities, they have, you know, there's a, there's a part of most big cities that's sort of like this 24-hour, round-the-clock, homeless renaissance fair slash flea market because there's a, a never-ending ecosystem of resellable garbage in most cities, and they have the market cornered. I'm not, I'm not knocking homeless people. I just I usually don't need any BGs, 8-tracks, or gas-powered answering machines. But the thing is, I was walking through this neighborhood, right? Mm -hmm. And I had a very human moment, you know? This guy walks up to me. This is true. This guy walks up to me. He's got no shoes on. Mm -hmm. He's wearing pants. He looks like he's been sleeping in for weeks, okay? And he's holding the board game, sorry. You know, and, he's, and I, you know, I really didn't know what to do. You know, I'm looking at him. I think I'm a good person. I didn't know what to do. So I just said, well, 
set him up. Let's play. You know, I, I mean, I don't, I don't want to buy the game, but I'll spend some time with you, my friend, and that'll be quality time. He probably didn't, probably didn't really want to play. Sorry. No, I played with him. He beat, he beat me two out of three, and 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 there were no pieces. You know. Yeah. But you know, I, what I learned from that is that you know sometimes in this life, you know, you just have to play along. You know, because it's the right thing to do. Sometimes you just have to say, yes, it is your turn again. You know. Yeah. And then, then other times you have to say, hey, you know, quit, quit, quit following me, buddy, you know. Julie, listen to this. Stanley, you know this one? What? What, what did the Zen Buddha say to the hot dog vendor? Uh, what? Uh, make me one with everything. That's a great joke. It is. And it makes me hungry. <laughs> you know, my, uh, my dad insisted on driving me here tonight, Julie. Really? Makes a left-hand turn from the extreme right-hand lane. Ooh. I said, Dad, you're trying to get us killed. He said, I thought you were driving. Uh-uh. <laughs> Laugh. I couldn't start. I couldn't start. Let me ask you this, Doc. Mm -hmm. If you owned a company, yeah. if you owned a big company and you had no competition and everybody needed your service, would you spend a lot of money in advertising? No, not if, not if everybody needed it. So then why does the U.S. Postal Service advertise stamps on television? Mm. You know, for, for two years now, there are commercials on TV that actually end with, buy U.S. postage stamps. Yeah. Now, maybe it's just me, but my whole life, all I've ever bought was U.S. postage stamps. You know, because you try Scott's taping 32 pennies to the envelope, it, it never gets there. It's too heavy. Because you use Easter seals instead, and they, they come right back to your house. Of course we're going to buy U.S. postage stamps. Mm -hmm. What idiots. You know how expensive it is to advertise on television? If you're the post office and you have a message for us, well, put it in the mailbox. You're, you're going there anyway. That, it's, it's like having a commercial for air. You know, air, breathe it in, breathe it out. Air, brought to you by the oxygen people. Mm. You know, the weirdest one of all of them are, why do the Yellow Pages advertise on TV? We don't get our choice of what Yellow Pages we want. We don't even know when they're coming. They show up at our house, you know, once or twice a year in a, in a plastic bag, and those are our Yellow Pages. There are no Yellow Pages shopping centers. There's mm -hmm. no kiosk at the mall with all the Yellow Pages. And, and here, here's the most ironic thing. Look, in any Yellow Pages, under Yellow Pages, there are no listings. So what kind of piece of horrible reference book is this? I, I, I find it very helpful, actually. I'd rather call information than use the Yellow Pages, because the Yellow Pages, although... It's a great idea. It's like, it's like going on a scavenger hunt through hell, trying to find out what words they decided to use for the stuff we normally call. I'll give you a true example. Like, yeah. I wanted to find clothing in the yellow page. You've heard of the word clothing, Doc, right? Mm -hmm. Clothing. is. I'm wearing some right now. You know what it says under clothing in the yellow pages? What? Nothing. Nothing. Not clothing, see something else. Nothing. Like, there's no such word as clothing. Yeah. You know? And apparel. Who, since 1903, has used apparel in a regular sentence? You know what it says under apparel in the old pages? How the hell did you find this? Dr. Katz's office. Hey, Laura. It's Ben. Hi. How you doing? Fine. Uh, listen, is my dad around? Because I'm at, I'm at the hardware store, and I'll tell you something. This guy's giving me a hard time about returning some items I got uh, last night. And, you know, it says refund, uh, but he said no. I can't argue with him because you can't argue with no. Ben? And uh, I think what I need is my dad here because it's his credit card and he has his name on it. And I forged his signature last night. And now they're saying, oh, you're not this guy. And I'm not. But that's not the point. So I'll have to have my dad. Is my dad there? Mm-hmm. Can I talk to him? No. <gasps> you see? It's happening. People saying no. Hello? I'll give you another example. Mm -hmm. yeah. You want to find bar in the yellow page, it's under tavern. Tavern? Mm. I want to drink. I don't want to meet Davy Crockett. What, what year is this? Who works at the yellow pages? Don't they, don't they interact with other human beings and find out how we talk? Mm. What do they sequester them like a jury and feed them 19th century novels and say, only use these words, please? Dr. Katz's office. Why'd you hang up? Um... I, I just wanted to talk to my dad. 
I, I didn't hang up. Listen, I'm having a hard day today. I'm at the hardware store. That's hard. This is a difficult day. I can't. I'm having a problem. I need to talk to my dad. Could I do that? I'll give you another example. Recycling. So I want to find out what night to get my stuff ready. So I look in the yellow page under recycle centers. You know what it said? Nothing. Nothing. Not recycle center. See something else. Not a picture of me bent over a stump with a guy kicking me in the butt, mm. you know, dancing around. You know, nothing. I look under garbage. You know what it said under garbage? Nothing. Nothing. So now I got to start thinking like an SAT test. Like clothing is to apparel as garbage is to... I looked under sanitation. You know what it said? What? See rubbish. I'm getting closer. I just want to call information. Excuse me, you have a synonym for perfume? It's my mom's birthday and I can't find a damn thing in your book! Hey, Dad. Oh, Ben, I'm glad you called. I wanted to remind you to, to return that, that, uh, that thing you bought at the hardware store. The, the, nail, the, the, the nail, nail gun. gun. Yeah. yeah, actually, I'm at the hardware oh, store. Oh, great. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's for a... taking care of that. Because um, while I was annoyed, I knew, I knew it could be easily, easily uh, resolved. Yeah. Well, well, it was a little too expensive, and, I, yeah. you know, maybe I got carried away. There's a slight problem. Okay. Yeah, um, well, they, they, uh, they won't take it back. Why won't they take it back? He said uh, it's messed up. He said, How could it be messed up? It's in the box. It is in the box. Yeah. But I, So I what is the problem? Well, last night mm -hmm. and this morning and uh, this afternoon, I took it out of the box. And I might have used it just to see if it worked. You don't remember, you don't remember me saying anything about that, do you, last night? You said don't use it. Right. Uh, why, why would you do a thing like that? What do you mean, use it? Yeah. Fun. Look... It doesn't matter. It's in the box. It's it's a perf in perfectly good condition, and there's no reason in the world why you can't return it and why, they, why they can't credit it to my card. It's jammed. It's, it, Do you mean you can't get it back into the box? There's, I think there's a, there's a problem with the, the compressor. I, what do you think is wrong with the compressor, Ben? There's, a, there's some nails in it, Dad, mm -hmm. from when I, when, I, when I put them in. You put them in the compressor? Yeah. Okay. I also uh, I put a tack in. This is not making me happy at all. And it it's wouldn't... making me... I feel like I'm aging right in front of my own eyes. It wouldn't, it wouldn't fire the tack. Might have jammed it. <sighs> you know, Dad, though, I, I, yeah. I really feel like I learned a lesson. And uh, that is, don't nail your shoes to the floor. So it doesn't have to, you know, you don't have to be able to hold a dictionary for a shelf to be a success, you know? Yeah, I mean, uh, it, it was... I think we, I think it was, a, as, it's a success. We just have to find a different purpose for it. It's just that they're not yeah. uh, st st straight. He had cock your head like this to one side, Ben. Yeah, okay. You see what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. So yeah. let's, let's not think of them as bookshelves. It's more like... Let's think of it as a place where we leave, where the, for outgoing mail, for some pamphlets. Right, right. Um, you know, we just have to be uh, careful that we don't put anything fragile on there, because it's going to slide right down to the other end. It still feels good, Dad. You know, I mean, oh, having, having done something... I'm a little tight. Man, I, I got feel... The, the blood was, was going. The belt's tight. You know, what's nice is to use those muscles. That, I, that Very rarely do I get to use the um, yeah. upper leg, lower back... It's been you know since college that I've that I've used those muscles. Well, you you uh, you worked on a commune, didn't you? Yeah, I had, we had a bulletin board that I put up. <laughs> but didn't you build it? Didn't you help build a barn? A whole well, it was an A-frame. It wasn't really a barn. Mm -hmm. You know, we lived in uh, in an A-frame. Eighteen of us. That's tough living, huh? We grew our own uh, fungus. Wow. Yeah. But damn it, it feels good, doesn't it? Oh man. This is, I know I'm going to sleep like a baby tonight because... You work so hard You today. work with your hands and you sweat. I'm not going to sleep. I know it's only been 25 minutes, but <laughs> there's something about taking a thing that exists in nature, you know, in this case, particle board, yeah. and just molding it to suit some kind of selfish purpose. I do, do you know? love the belt, Dad. I mean, yeah. you know, they come in all types of earth tones. Really? This isn't the only one. This is no, a you're light tan. I didn't, didn't realize that. Yeah. You know, earlier, Dad, on our third or fourth break... When I was just standing there, and I was just, and I was sweating, mm -hmm. I felt like a man. You know, I, w I was sort of hoping that yeah. someone would see that. You that, know? that feeling will pass. The, what the feeling about the feeling like a man? I, I go through that once in a while. 
Yeah. Well, it's just a phase. Yeah. You know, Mark, I, I'm, I think that you need to focus less on the world around you. Whoop. And Wait a minute. Email. What? Yep. Whoop. Huh? Here we go. Email. You have a computer, doctor? I do. Yeah. I am totally dependent on one. Really? I have not got to that point yet. I no. can't seem to make the, the evolutionary step into the screen. You know, I mean, I got this friend. He's constantly bothering me. I mean, I have a computer, but I just, I use it to write. That's all I, I don't, you know, I don't, I use it to write. This guy's constantly bothering me. You got to get on the net, man. You got to get in the internet. You got to get on the internet. You got to get, you know, walk, get into the future. Get on the net. And, you know, this guy spends eight hours a day playing, you know, computer games with a guy in France. You know, and he's always telling me, like, hey, you know what? The computer is a tool. And I'm like, no, it's not. It's a toy. You're a tool. It's using you to get to me, you know? So finally, I just said, all right, let's go. I want to get on the net. I want to get on a global chat board. I want to talk to people all over the world. So, you know, we boot into his computer. We're on, on the screen. I'm sitting there. I'm prepared. I'm ready to, to engage. And I'm watching the screen, waiting for a transmission. Here it comes. Do you like dogs? Whoops. You know what the music means. 